a School Frozen in Time Volume 2 review. Back in April, Vertical started releasing School Frozen Time, a manga series by Noishi Arakawa, where I have some th what mixed feelings in the first installment. I was still eager to see where the story was heading, so today I'm, he I'm here to take a look at Volume 2 and find out if anything has changed. When we last saw our cast, the group of 8 had become even 7 after the mysterious disappearance of Mitsuro, leaving nothing but the trail of blood behind. The group now fear for their safety and become desperate to find a way out of the school they find themselves trapped in. Previously, the group wondered if they were trapped in order to remember who died on the day of the school festival and floated the idea that we could even be one of the eight there. However, in volume 2, the idea is turned on its head and Shimizu suggests they will be trapped within the consciousness of the student who died. The concept Shimizu has come out with is, it is not that everyone else around them disappeared when they got to school, but simply that those eight were made that disappeared. Instead, Shimizu explains that her theory is based around the idea of Alangol years. A story written by Stephen King in his Poor Past Midnight Anthology. We even know why the situation is occurring doesn't tell them how to escape it. While trying to figure out the mystery, Shimizu gets split off from the rest of the group and soon starts reminiscing about her friendship with the protagonist Takano. Takano is somewhat that Shimizu respects, but she also has a crush on him. Despite her efforts to get close to him, Takano always seems to keep her at distance and calls her Miss Shimizu while acting more familiar with the rest of her friend group. Perhaps even more importantly, Shimizu doesn't just love Takano, but she also wants to become someone like him, someone respected and beloved by others. It has to be said that a large chunk of his volume is focused on Shimizu and her relationship with Takano, but it does fade back into the plot. It feels like it somewhat models the bigger picture. Again, I wonder if some of his comes from originally being a novel with a more natural flow from exploring each member of the cast, compared to the manga which is more restrained. Being only a 4 volume series we know halfway through the story, and in terms of where the story is, is by the end of this installment, I find it concerning. The trouble is that it's much, so much so much time is spent in Shimizu's tale that it's only really the first and last chapter that moves along the overreacting story. Even once I get to volume 4, I worry we won't be familiar with every member of the group in a satisfactory way, since it just isn't enough time to explore each of their backstories. If you enjoyed Volume 1, then I think you will still enjoy what this second book offers, but I will say it hasn't done anything to address any of the concerns I had initially. I'm still keen to see where the story is going, but I'm certainly lowered my expectations accordingly. As previously mentioned, A School Frozen in Time Volume 2 comes to the West thanks to its vertical and is by, translated by Michelle Lin. The translation is neat. The translation reads well with the no problems like the first volume. Their translation notes at the back. Volume 3 of the series is scheduled for release in August. Overall, A School Frozen in Time continues to be an awkward and often frustrating mystery series without enough time to fully flash out the cast for the, or the plot. It continues to offer a mishmash and a hopes of achieving something in the little time it has. That said, I'm still optimistic that the conclusion will be worth waiting for. 6 over 10.